Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. How are we all? I feel like I've not done a wee haul in ages. Like, honestly, it feels like ages. So just in case you think, what's behind me? Can you see? She's found a new place. I mean, the whole dog's not on this chair. Didn't last long. Um, I knew it wouldn't. I mean, I literally the other day, I counted six times I told Coco to get off it and six times she got back on it. Which obviously just means the dogs don't really listen to anything I say. And anything I say means sweet fuck all in this household. So, great. Um, so yeah, she's on it. Mum's like, get her off it. I'm like, it's too late for that. She's completely took this chair. Even Bear, when he gets up on it, she bit barks at him, girls at him. So yeah, it's fully £400 for a dog seat. Great. Um, but yeah, how are we all? I'm like, are we out of lockdown? Are we not out of lockdown? Apparently today we're possibly going back into lockdown. So, you know. At this point, I'm wearing heels to breakfast, lunch and dinner in my kitchen because I honestly think if I go any longer without putting heels on my feet, my feet are going to be like so flat that I don't think I'll ever get that arch back without ever going a pair of heels. Like, no joke, guys. I wore like a mule the other day. And it hurt. A meal was always a heel that you thought would never be like painful. It was fucking painful. So my feet are struggling. We need to get back into the swing of things, guys. Nicola Sturgeon needs to start thinking, you know, these gals need to get themselves out there, you know. I actually feel it for people that are single. How are you guys meeting people? Like how how are you going on dates? Even dates, like, you can't just like oh like come at a dinner and go, oh, do you want to go for a wee drink? We'll go in there. No, you can't. Sorry, we got a booking. No, see you later. Like, do you know what I mean? And I personally wouldn't on a first date want to sit outside with a drink. One, you're cold. Two, your nose is going to run. That's never cute. Your hair is going to be blown about. Probably if you're like me, it'll stick to your lip gloss. There's just many, many things that will become a problem. So as much as I want to kill Lee right now, because he does my head in 24-7, I'm quite glad I've got him because... You single gals, you deserve a medal. But anyway, not why we're here. So obviously by the title too, you, why can't I speak? Obviously by the title you can see this is a little Miss Pat Hall, back of my favourites. Um, I actually, so they obviously said pick a few items and then I obviously I knew in again and bought more items. That's what happens when you're addicted to shopping, so. My accountant's going to be like, this is what I mean. See this, spending money. Just got to bring it back in a little bit. Anyway. Right, so. Back working with Miss Pap, my favourites. I just think Miss Pap is such a good one because it's so affordable. And loads of you guys messaged me saying that you love the fact that Miss Pap sizes are really good. Um, the price is really affordable and a lot of the things you can actually be wear so I thought well that's a really good bonus um, so I'm going to start with a few outfits some of the outfits you can definitely change them about you can dress them super casual or you can maybe go a little bit fancier so for example if maybe you want an outfit that you can wear out with your girl pals but going to a beer garden with trainers great then maybe you want to wear a similar outfit or the exact same outfit again on a date or going for dinner with the family or whatever you can add heels take heels off not with all of them i don't think no i'm actually lying with all of them you can um so yeah let's just get in to the first outfit so you know me love a blazer love a blazer like i honestly always take mom and dad like i mean they, they hate every time i bring it up they're like you're so morbid but bury me in blazers like i was born in a blazer and i'm gonna eat in a blazer that's how i think my i am like i just don't think i suit anything else but a blazer like i mean it covers me in all the right places but i just you know something about a blazer also when i see other girls a blazer i'm like you look cute you know just a blazer catches my eye i know i don't know about guys like lee doesn't like me in a blazer it's all aware do you know what i mean so it's a bit like Right, well, I take you to like me very often, but he's always like, Can you wear something a little bit more tight? And I'm like, 
no sorry oversized like i want a dad blazer like every time like i'm at to leave you know get like blazers like i'm sure lee's dad's probably got some cool dior blazers that he could probably throw my, my way do you know what i mean like lee's dad used to like not saying doesn't dress cool anymore he does but like lee used to explain when i'd never met his dad like oh my dad kicks about in like dior suits and all that and i'm like part of me was kind of wishing like should i have met your dad your dad sounds like my dream man do you know what i mean your suits I'm like to leave you got any of them he's like nah it's not my style and I'm like huh what then I'm always thinking oh my god imagine I took one of his dad's old your suits and like got it cropped or something like that like made an extra crop blazer or just you know I have so many ideas about these blazers but I haven't actually spoke to these dad about that so I don't want to jump the gun you know what I mean in case one day he's like can I get those like vintage Dior blazers back and I'm like they're cropped you know made in a cord anyway Bear's a bit stuff. Bear! So, first outfit. I'm going to pop up here. I just think blazer dresses are perfect. They're perfect for so many reasons, right? For example, this one. I have styled this with socks and trainers, but I have also then styled this with plain white heels, which just is perfect. Like, you can chop and change it. They're good for, I always think, like, a white um, blazer dress is great for christening because, obviously, if it is in, like, a chapel or anything like that, you do want to keep it a little bit more sophisticated. Like, you don't want to get your boobs out for God. Do you know what I mean? Like, keep it classy, girls. So, like, my mum always goes out to me about a christening. What are you wearing? Because I think she always thinks, please don't wear something short or get your boobs out, or wear something cropped, you know what I mean? I think she always has a little bit of a panic attack when I say, oh, I'm going to a christening, she's like, please don't wear neon. Because I remember one time I showed an outfit, and she's like, you're not wearing neon pink to a chapel. I was like, God might actually appreciate it, but anyway. So this is a white blazer dress, and it comes with a belt attached to it, which I actually quite like. But what I also sometimes like to do, girls, if you are dressing this down, I would maybe take off the belt that comes with the blazer and change it for like a black belt. Um, like quite like a grungy belt. Put on socks and trainers, a more casual handbag. Or what you could do, I do have this in black that I will show you. You could drop, take out the, the belt that comes with it, do a black belt and black boots. Because even though it's meant to be summer, spring, whatever we're on at the moment. I think you can still wear a dock boot with no tights and still quite get away with it like I still think they're quite cool um but this blazer is amazing quality like you can see here it's got like shoulder pads but not big ones but I think that is key for the blazer I think when you get a blazer without that it's just so like oh, is it limp is that the right word you know what I mean like there's nothing it needs a bit of structure um so I like this because you can dress it up dress it down it's definitely something you can wear more than once and I think blazers like this are kind of just always good like a blazer dress to me is something I put on like see like last minute if Lisa do want to go for dinner on Saturday and I can't really be bothered or done something or I've not seen anything that I like a blazer dress is just one of those outfits you can sling on change your bag change your shoes change your hairstyle for the last time you wore it and it looks like a total different blazer that's why I like it. It's also good because I think it suits every body shape, no matter whether you're teeny tiny petite or whether you're curvy, whether you've got big boobs, big bum, wee waist, whatever it is. I feel like a blazer just kind of suits everybody. Um, what the fuck was that? Bear. Oh, God. If this video doesn't make it out, Someone's in my gap and they're about to come kill me. So, that's why I love a blazer dress. Um, I actually have a few from Miss Pap. I also have a Miss Pap crop one. It's like a crop top. Um, crop skirt if I can find it I will pop up a photo for you but this is it in white and like I said I styled it with trainers and heels so super easy super cute and also the white colour it's like a suit it's not cream like I, I've done this a few times where I've watched like hauls or whatever and it comes it's cream and I'm like why are you saying white this is crisp white like stunningly white like it probably makes my teeth look a bit yellow what's that noise so yes first outfit so while we're doing it in white, I may as well just show you it in black. Also, again, another super classy one. This is also good. See if you are someone who maybe works somewhere in an office um, or you're always in business meetings, that type of thing. 
I do think a blazer dress with like a wee pair of like now those like sheer tights so they're not, not dark but they're not like your skin colour tights. See like them with like a nice heel or a nice wee shoe or like a nice boot. I love stuff like that. Like whenever I imagine like if me ever working in like somewhere like really smart like a bank. Like I would wear like a little blazer dress. I don't even know if that's allowed but that is what I would wear. Um, so again exact same. It comes with the belt. What I would honestly do though, no, not bashing the belt, the belt's absolutely fine if you want to keep it, but I've done it before. Take off that belt and just put on like a more chunkier belt, so like a black belt with gold in it or a silver, like I've got a black one and it's got like holes in it. Um, I'll try and put it on for this one to show you what, exactly what I mean. Um, and it, it kind of makes it less formal, so you're kind of making it a little bit more grungy, you could put on like big hoops, loads of jewellery, depending on the belt whether you want to go silver um, or gold and then you could do accessories to match um, again you could do this with converse you could do this with black heels colorful heels you could do it with docks there's so many ways you could even do it with, like a black heeled sock boot so maybe if you are going for dinner but you're not really wanting to do like a heel um, then a black sock boot would be absolutely perfect as well um, so i absolutely love this again black is such a slimming color so I mean, if you gained a few pounds in lockdown, like myself, then you'll be loving in black at the moment. Hence the outfit. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this. And I just, just I, I do think, see if you're in the dating game, girls, and you know you might get a spontaneous date, or the guy you went on a first date, he really likes you enough that he wants to take you on a second date, like quite quick, I've heard that happens. Um, it's never happened to me right enough. But I have heard it's happened, like I know girls that have went in dates and they're like, oh my god, fuck, he wants to take me out again tonight. Like, what the fuck? That's not enough time to get on the website and order something next to delivery. So blazer dresses are just perfect for just flinging on, in my opinion. Like, everybody should own a blazer dress. I just don't understand how you don't. I don't, like, I, I'm not meaning that rude. I just don't understand if people don't own, own blazer dresses. Like, how have you get by in life without a blazer dress? Because it saved me numerous times. Like, now when you think... You can fit in an outfit and then you put it on and it doesn't fit. And like leaves at the door like babe our table's ready and you're like what the fuck am I going to wear? Blazer dress, covers the belly and you look absolutely stunning in my opinion. So next little item is a little bit more summery but if you live in, don't live in Glasgow then you might get a summer. If you live in Glasgow then you're probably going to wear this but you'll be fucking freezing. But I think us girls in Glasgow have now got to the point where we're taking that, like we're taking it, we're, we're dealing with that. Like, I know a few weekends ago I went out and I was fucking cold. Like, I was shitting so cold. But I was like, I want to wear a stunning outfit and I'm fed up going to wear a hoodie on. So you just got to deal with it. So let's all say a wee Hail Mary, God decides to actually let the sun shine. But if it doesn't, then you will be freezing your tits off. But at least you look cute. So this is like, I don't ever know the material, like, I, I, it's not the right what I'm going to say, but my mum always says it, it's like tea towel, um, like that kind of, like, tablecloth-y material, but I absolutely, I'm not selling it here, but you know what I mean, and it's got like the little, um, frilly sleeves here, now what I like about this, it's like a complete square neckline, which I always think it just makes like this area look really slim, and like, kind of like, your collarbone stand out a little bit more, um, and then it's got the puffy sleeves. Now what you could do with this is leave one sleeve down or leave both sleeves down. Like if you maybe are one of the lucky ones that are going to get a holiday this year, then you could definitely change up how you style this. Um, now as a pop-up little photo, it is a mini dress, um, but I don't think it's super short. But again, this outfit you could style on holiday with stunning little, maybe like woven woody sandals with like a matching woven bag. Or you could style it with trainers, sandals here, high heels. I wouldn't probably wear this dress with boots. Like, I just don't get how it would vibe. Maybe if you were going to a festival, you could do it with cowboy boots. Maybe. I would. I think what well, that's the type of outfit you would need to see. Do you know what I mean? Um, but it's definitely an outfit you can style loads of ways. You could put a belt around the waist. You could maybe even put a chain belt around the waist, which would maybe be quite stunning. Um, so, yeah, here I've just styled it here again with socks and trainers. Like, that's kind of, like, my go-to at the moment. Like, if I was going out maybe at a beer garden, I probably wouldn't wear heels if it was a day sesh. Um, so, yeah, there's, like, loads of different ways that you can style it. And what I would say is the sleeves are thinner material 
than the dress which is kind of what you want you want to make sure that the dress is super thick which it is um and for anyone who wants to know it's got like a zip going up the back but i absolutely love this little number i think as well like to be honest i think any bit of sunshine like imagine that right with like white trainer socks denim like a proper baby blue denim jacket cute wee like woven handbag like even if it's a little bit sunny where you live that would just be such a cute outfit if you were going for lunch or beer garden date you know you'd look really really cute in that even i also think like people always ask me for like brides ideas like see little dresses like if you might be getting married abroad right and you want like little like, white outfits like imagine that with like a little like um bride to be tiara or something like that like that would just be so stunning stunning so next up actually i bought this okay because i just thought i seen it and i thought want you need you that type of thing so yeah this was the outfit that i actually bought i'm sure it was alicia lemay that was wearing it my gal she's absolutely stunning but this is like so to be fair i actually thought the material looked a little bit thinner on the website but wow it's absolutely stunning now it's came so it's like a linen material which again is perfect because you don't really want to wear a suit if it's going to be super heavy um and it's kind of like a flare it's not super flared like it's not big baggy legs it's just a little bit more flared out at the bottom um and i super super love this color like it's a yellowy nude cream like it's not super cream it's not like an off-white it is more like a yellowy kind of tone and it comes with the matching blazer now i'm going to keep this super casual this outfit however you could obviously style it up with heels and stuff or whatever on holiday or even imagine on holiday maybe if you were going out somewhere for lunch right i would wear this with like a white bikini top and white sandals um or even at night time you could probably still wear it with a bikini top and keep the blazer on obviously um but there's like a few ways you could wear it that's like probably like a very mykonos outfit um but here i've just styled it with a normal white crop top and my chunky trainers um but again back here you could probably style it a few ways you can maybe wear like a bustier or corset um if you're going to do it with heels um i even think just this with like a white plain racer and white heels would be really really stunning um but like i've said in the photo in the video i've just worn mine with chunky trainers and a white handbag i think it's quite cute good for lunch great for dinner um and it's a super comfortable outfit like you could probably put the blazer over your shoulders if it was nice weather um and i think this with like fresh tan would be absolutely stunning um also guys just to know any sizes and all that or anything's out of stock i'll make sure i link all that below um but yeah this is a real winner i've actually been looking for flares recently because i wanted to just like wear like flares with, like a racer top um and this comes in another colour. I'm sure it's like a khaki kind of colour. Khaki grey. Um, so definitely check that out if you're maybe not... Oh, Coco's on the move. Um, if you're maybe not into the lighter colours. If you're more like a darker kind of coloured outfit. Then you definitely do another colour. Because I was tempted to buy both. But I thought, oh we then, you know, I'll buy one. So, other outfit is more of a casual vibe. But again, could quickly be dressed up. So it's... This outfit I think you could wear separate, multi ways, loads of ways, but you could bring it back and wear it together. So I have this in now every colour. Um it's the other way back to front, sorry, I'm looking at my way, is those. Now these vests, I know you're probably just thinking this is just a wee vest top, but I am loving them. This in white under the blazer outfit, absolutely stunning. This with denim shorts and a check shirt this with jeans this with joggers like i just think these wee vest tops show a little bit of the nipple you know piercing through stunning tan i just really really love them i'm not a lover to get my arms out so i would always wear it with something on top but if you don't have that arm and security that i've got then crack on and get your arms out um so i've just styled this here with a pair of jeans now these jeans are like split down the middle color and they're the same at the back and again they've got pockets and stuff like that i like them because they've also got like this like dark stitching detail here that i absolutely love um i love miss pat jeans i have so many of them um if i can actually get images i'll pop them up for you to see um the denim quality guys is 10 out of 10 it's not pushy thin it's super thick and also guys they wash really well i've noticed that like 
I bought jeans in the past, you do one wash and then they go a bit shite. These don't, this doesn't happen with these, they're absolutely perfect. What I also like is this pocket. Now, it's up to you what you want to do. I personally think I'm going to do it. In the white side, if you pull the pocket down, it's a dark, the dark denim. I'm thinking of cutting just a little bit off this pocket just so you can see the dark denim. I think it'll look quite cool. Um, but yeah, I just styled them obviously with the little grey top here in trainers. But of course you could do this with a, a big blazer. You could do it with heels. Um, you could style this separate. You could style these jeans with absolutely everything. Um, you could dress them up, dress them down and that type of thing. But I just love a good jean. You guys know I love in jeans. And I think, see when I get a good quality jean, I'm like, I then end up wanting to buy them in every shade, every style, you know, like anything like that. Um, because I think a good jean is actually pretty hard to find. Like, I'm actually, I'm sure it's a skill that I've got of finding good quality jeans. So again, this wee outfit, another wee, obviously because I don't like getting my arms out, like it's a known fact now. I have just popped this on with this white Miss Pap shirt. Now, I'm sorry, but the quality of this shirt is unreal. It's like a prop. The only way I can explain it is like a proper man's shirt. Like, it's super thick. It's also very oversized, which I really, really love. Like, it's not fitted in any way possible. Now, the good thing with this is, girls, I, now I got this in a 12. This is long enough to be a dress. So, you can put this on as a dress with a blazer on top um, or a denim jacket. Um, or you could just throw it on as like an over shirt. I also like this like well like a gym set underneath this shirt and then a blazer on top. That is kind of my vibe. Um, I absolutely love this shirt so obviously I've just styled it with those jeans and that eraser top and trainers. Again it's a super comfy outfit but like I think it looks a little bit more because the shirt's really good. Um, and honestly guys for the price of that if you're looking for like an over shirt for maybe things that you wear. I absolutely love it. Also on that note, see the flare trousers, see if you put that on with like a white racer and the white shirt and white trainers. I think that would also be very stunning, like a very like kind of summery outfit, but you're not really showing that much. I mean like you're kind of covered up on the arms and below. Um, so yeah, I just think having a white shirt in your wardrobe is kind of like important and like it goes with absolutely everything. So second last outfit I think is this little silky like situation, right? Now it's halter neck, which I actually do love. Um, now it's completely backless. It's absolutely stunning. Like imagine this on holiday with tan. Or like imagine this on holiday with like a body chain but to the back. Stunning. But I styled this super casual. Now you could pop this on with heels, sock boots, like whatever you fancy actually. But I've just styled this with my black Converse and I put a little blazer over the top. That's probably how I would wear it. I maybe wouldn't wear the blazer actually on. And I know people will be like, well, what fucking difference does it make? Or why do you get a blazer on if you're not going to actually wear it? Um, but I just think that's like part of styling outfit is not actually having the blazer on. Um, now, if it's a little bit baggy or you like things more fitted, you could go a size down. Or you could just simply pop on like a black chunky belt and really, really kind of grunge it down a wee bit. Um, but imagine just this st stunning right on holiday. Or even here... If maybe you're going somewhere where you're going to be inside drinking, it will be like plain black strap heels, gold jewellery, gold hoops, like stunning natural makeup and like beautiful tan. It's just unfair. It's unfair that that actually can happen for me. But anyway, so yes, I absolutely love that. And obviously I've popped up a little photo and video. I wore it super casual. Um, just to kind of show you how you can make a, a, a fancy dress a little bit more casual um, and obviously you can multi wear it and stuff like that. So the last outfit again looks like a blazer dress but it's actually not. It's actually a play suit but you don't, oh shit, you don't see it's a play suit like at the bottom and also what I like about this guys it's like a silky shirt which is so nice. Now when I'm wearing this I, let me see, no you would have to wouldn't you? It depends how low it goes. Everybody's body size is different, right? But if it went quite low, I would probably wear like a really lace black bralette under it so that you kind of see that. Or you could maybe leave the top bit unbuttoned so that you actually, the black lace bralette becomes part of the actual outfit and the detail of it. It's so light and feels so comfy, but it's got those little shoulder pads. I think it's stunning. 
Now you could wear this plain black strappy heels, plain black bag and really kind of keep it quite classy, quite simple. Simple but stunning. Or you can steal Barbie shoes and put on with that. These are like I feel like they were made for me. I feel like Miss Pat went, let's just create Abby a shoe. And this was the shoe that they came up with. I I know they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Like I'm well aware of that. Okay, I know that everyone will be like, fuck me, they're glow in the dark. But there's something about these. Now look at the back of the heel. It's stunning. Stunning. And I just think you could have ugly feet and put your feet in them and your feet would be stunning. That's, that is my opinion on these shoes. Um, I would obviously wear this with an all black outfit. Like I wouldn't go wild and start pairing it with anything pink. Like it's probably going to be a bit of a clash and also too much pink. But I just imagine this would want to either the full on blazer dress or the one that's like a play suit. This black bag, like, I feel like that would be perfect if you were going out with the girls and you want to look a pop of colour. Maybe a bit bold for a date, putting it out there, maybe a bit bold for a date. But, like, I would wear this with Lee. Like, I'm quite out there when it comes to things. Like, see if Lee's like, I don't like that. I'm like, no, you give me me like it even more. Um, But I just think, my God, answer the phone, you know, imagine this with telephone. Absolutely stunning. Also, girls, could you imagine them in summer, height of summer, on holiday, stunning tan, glow, let's think about it, imagine that, imagine yourself with this, stunning tan, natural, glow, denim shorts, we're on holiday, these heels, and like a plain white racer top, nah, stunning, so simple, literally not that much thought put into it, but the heels will steal the show, I just absolutely love them. I do understand, my, like my mum would, would not agree on these, but they're like fluff, not fluffy, but like cushion, cushion, that's it, they're like, they're, there's something about them, I don't know what it is, maybe it's a colour, I don't know, but I'm absolutely obsessed with them, um, so I absolutely love these guys, hope you guys do too, um, I think they come in other colours, I could be wrong with that, but I do think they do, um, but I just think how cute would these be with little like this? What I've done is I've actually just popped them on with one of the blazer dresses just for you to see. Um, but winner, winner, chicken dinner with them guys. I absolutely love them. Um, so yeah, that's actually the end of the haul. I feel like we got through quite a lot of outfits there. And the good thing is all the outfits are fancy or casual. So this little bit of my hair is just taking the pure piss. Um, a lot of the outfits you can do fancy or you can do casual depending on where you're going. Um, but yeah, any questions guys, just ask me like either in the comments below or on Instagram. Please, if you like the video, please like it. If you don't like the video, don't dislike it. Just click off. Cheers. Um, if you're sharing Instagram, please tag me because I absolutely love it. It's like my favourite thing when I pop up a video and like I see everyone tag me. It gets me a wee buzz um, and I love to share it. Um, any questions, you can ask me if things are a wee bit small made, big made opinions on anything so just let me know um and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um but as always guys thank you for watching i appreciate it hopefully you guys have liked outfit also i absolutely love like i met a girl out on town um and she'd wore an outfit that i'd kind of like wore basically and i loved it like i love chatting about it and i think she felt like a little bit embarrassed but i'm like that's the whole point like i like i throw outfits out there i don't think they're that major so if someone wears them fucking crack on, I love that. Like, I do that. Like, I'll see someone's outfit and I'm going, I wonder if she will know I've copied that full outfit. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's the whole point in these videos. That's the whole point in Instagram is to be, have inspo. Do you know what I mean? Like, Miss Pat didn't just make one blazer for one certain person. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's why there's multi multiple things. Like, anyone and everyone can wear them. So definitely, if anyone wears any outfits, then please tag me in that also. But yeah, hopefully you're enjoying getting it a lockdown. Hopefully you've been out for dinner, drinks, you're back mingling. If you're single, I hope you know you're busy. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, and yeah, there's lots more fun videos to come. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an amazing weekend. And as always, love you lots.